Hi, welcome back. My name is Michelle. You're watching Michelle's Life. Today we are in a different location. As you can see, we are in Copperfish Books and I'm speaking and interviewing the owner. And I just wanted to make this video to support Small Business Saturday and this is one of my favorite bookshops and I uh, wanted to show it off to you guys. So Thank you. <laughs> so I have with me Kathy Graham. My name is Kathy Graham. And I have a couple questions for Kathy. So number one is what inspired you to open your store? To open the store, you know, we've been uh, selling books for about 10 years. A lot of it was out of the garage and used books online and all of that. And at some point we just said, let's take it to the next level and, yeah. and open something in the community. So that's what we wanted to do. And it just has been growing. Sometimes it's beyond us, Yeah. really. You know, we have this idea and we thought, are we crazy? Let's do it. But I don't know, we love it. And we love being in the community and talking about books and, and really promoting them with people. It's a really good location. Thank you. Oh, we love that. This is yeah. our second location because we started off the beaten track a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was the best place we could find to start and uh, when this opened up oh, we were just so thrilled so now everyone sees us yeah and it's bigger it's so. a really great corner yeah thanks also where did you get the name copperfish we made that up oh okay fiction fish as serena always loves to say but we, it was an online kind of a name we were thinking of what sounds tropical and um and alive and so the only thing left because the red mango and purple banana what they were all gone so we <laughs> ended up with a fish and okay. i we wanted to make sure it wasn't a market so Added the color copper, nobody uses yeah. it. Yeah. Plus my daughter loves the fish on the door. Oh, she does? Okay. <laughs> the fish kind of works out, yeah. <laughs> um, do you remember maybe like the first book you sold when you opened the store? Or like a, maybe a memorable moment of selling a book since you've been open? Yeah, I don't. I, you know, I there's so many moments that I just, uh, for different reasons, they're memorable. Sometimes it's a big sale. You know, of course, when you make a lot of money on some sales, you're happy about that. Some, mostly, though, it's just that if, people are happy. You find exactly what they want to read and um, someone comes back and says, you know, you gave me this book and I, I loved it. It changed my life. Or maybe it's not that dramatic, but it just really had an impact. So that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. um, do you have a favorite section of your store? Mm, yeah, my favorite is historic fiction and fiction. So we're standing in it now oh, and okay. you know, just all these great stories. I, I love um, I love historic fiction because I get to learn history, a little bit of history without having the dryness of the history book. Yeah. And, uh, it just feels like I'm reading a little bit more. Um, something like that. Yeah, it's more yeah, more of a story than just yeah. facts spit at you. Yeah, yeah. I will confess another uh, part that I do like though, it's, a, it's shared by a minority of us, is the antique book section. Because I, I love the that. antique books and so I kind of come to life with that. So I'm the expert in that and, um, and uh, every time we get new things in there or find someone who really likes the old books. I love to show them off. So. Yeah, they were really yeah. pretty. What do you think sets your store apart from other used bookstores in the area? Well, I, I guess a couple things. The biggest thing that, we've, that people tell us is the, the atmosphere. They really love the atmosphere. It's intimate and friendly and warm and, and we want to keep it that way, so we like that. And uh, another thing is, you I know, mean, it's funny. I used to think it needed to be a lot bigger so we could have everything but we don't have a bigger store, it's smaller. That really works in our favor too. Yeah, so, so too. We're selective and it's just, it's easy for folks to move around. And, uh, yeah, it gives you just enough time to explore everything. So you, you don't feel like you missed anything, but uh, there's a lot to look at. So. Yeah, yeah. I think the new and used mix is really good too. So yeah. that's something we've, we used to be all used books. And so we moved into new, we're almost 50-50 now. And that's been a real, um, that's been good for us. Yeah, I definitely like that. That's one of my favorite things about this too is, is that I know if a new book came out I could possibly find it here. Right, so right. I always search here first Good. before looking somewhere else. And if it's not here we can order it. So yeah. we get we get we can order new books, we can search for old books, it's all good. Do you have a favorite memory from your childhood of visiting a bookstore or like how you originally fell in love with bookstores that led you on your journey? Well you know I have a memory of uh, bookmobiles. I, I grew up in Orlando the pre Disney years when we were out in the middle of orange groves and things like that and the, the bookmobile used to come to our street and I'd go in and find Nancy Drews and everything. So I, I love that. That was a, that's a good memory. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. What is the biggest? This is the last question. The biggest surprise of running a bookstore. How much work it is! <laughs> it's like way more work than you ever realize. And I think uh, if I really thought about it, it's just like any business, any small business, is a ton of work but to keep kind of keep the ball going, keep all the plates spinning in the air, and all that. So um, you know, people always have this idea that you're just sitting here and read books and read books right? exactly. <laughs> I, I know that's, that's exactly that, and, and, and uh, yeah. And when I'm ready to retire someday, I'm waiting for the person to come and say, "I've always wanted to own a bookstore," and I'm thinking, "Yeah, good. I'll let them have that image and uh, and not tell them about the extra hard work." But, yeah. but it's all worth it, it really is.
It's a beautiful store. Yeah, I love this store. No, I just hope yeah. folks will keep reading books like they do, and uh, I know we will. And uh, come on out and have a good time with us. And, uh, yeah, because they also do more than just um, bookish events. Oh, that's Tomorrow true. Night they have a jazz night. Oh my gosh, and we have a ton of people coming, and uh, we have book clubs, we have author events, we have just parties, we have big sales, whatever, just to keep people interested and have us let us have a good time. Mm -hmm. And I also like your membership too, where uh, you use your email address yeah. and you get coupons based on how much yeah. you spend in store and stuff. I think that's really great. Yeah, that's really too. We like that too. Yeah. So, and we have a trade program. And I'm trying to think what else in the Saturday, of course, is Small Business Saturday. We're probably going to talk about that a little bit. And uh, we've got a lot of specials going on along with the other shops along the street. So mimosas being one of them if you come in the morning. Mimosas. As long as they last. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So if you're in the area of uh, downtown Punta Gorda, they, all of the small businesses down here are beautiful and you should definitely stop into Copperfish Books. Thank you. <laughs> All right. see us. That's it for this interview. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will be bringing you more interviews in the future. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>